The, the front hairline, if I say so myself, is really, really good. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. We have our very own custom unit. Guys, this video is gonna be talking about all the things that I have ordered from LeVivid for my first custom unit. You're gonna be seeing quite a few more of these as we go forward in the future. I've been having them made over the past year, and as you know, things have been taking a while, but we're on track now. So real quick, guys, this video is sponsored by LeVivid Hair. Make sure you go check them out. Use my code Jake15 for 15% off any stock unit, uh, any multiple stock units, that's you know a great time. Make sure you take advantage of that. Okay, so back about uh, six or seven months ago, I asked LeVivid to make me a custom hair system. I've actually asked them to make me many custom hair systems and they're all being made right now, but the first one came in the mail the other day. So this is pretty cool. Um, this is the package that you're gonna get it in. When you arrive in the mail, it's gonna come in kind of, not, not a box per se, but more of kind of like the FedEx bags that we're familiar with. And then you're gonna have a Levivid box like this inside. Now the box is held up pretty well. Not that that really matters for a custom unit, but there's no real damage to this right here. So that's always a good time. Now let's open it up, shall we? So um, now we have the unit. This is all that's basically inside the box. Get this. Uh, this is my custom unit. Now you're probably wondering what is it? How is it? All of that fun stuff, okay? Now let's go over it one by one, but first let's take off this little thing. Okay, here we are, check it out. So we have hash seven hair, that's approximately my color code with Levivid hair. And we have a old base design. For those that have been watching the channel for a while, you guys will recognize this base design. I haven't been wearing it for a while because I haven't really uh, been able to find it, but uh, this is one of my favorite, favorite base designs that you can get here um, in the hair system world. And the reason for that, I'll go over at the end. But first, let's talk a little bit about what this unit is. What did I choose? What did I go with, okay? So this right here, first off, as we can see, is a mix of poly and of lace. So inside we have the French lace, and the poly is a 0.04 millimeter skin. Uh, 0.04 is not the thinnest in the world, but it is relatively thin. It is uh, got some durability to it as opposed, as opposed to like a 0.02 millimeter, which I've actually been wearing this unit right now, which is a 0.02, I believe, for multiple months and it's held up. There's a couple little holes, some nooks and crannies here and there, but it's held up well. So I've worn 0.04 before and they stand up. I actually haven't had a tear before with a 0.04, which is one of the reasons why I ordered it, okay? Next up, we have the custom base pattern. This is not something that Levivid naturally uh, has in stock, like for their stock orders, you can't just get this base pattern right here, which is, it's got poly all around the border and then it's got, a, got like a cross formation in the center if you can see that, there we go, see that? Now the reason that I really like this base pattern is because one, poly is super easy to manage and to install. Um, it's easy to use tape, liquid adhesive, all that kind of stuff on it. But unfortunately poly does not breathe, right? Um, so this right here is the best of both worlds in my opinion. Um, the reason that the French lace interior I like is because that makes poly breathable. Uh, you can sweat, you can do whatever you want with it and it's not really going to affect you whatsoever. Um, here's the thing that I've noticed with a lot of the poly perimeter and French lace interior units though. The French interior is just one big circle, right? So. If you want to make your installation and removal easy, you don't put tape or adhesive on the lace. It's It just takes a little bit longer in my opinion and I think most people would agree with that. Uh, so what you get is like whenever you are actually kind of scrunching your head, say you lay down or you're on a couch or a million different things like that, right? What happens is that the lace starts to kind of bunch up kind of like this just because your head is scrunching, right? And the, the tape is attached to your head. So that's natural when that happens. But what this allows is it allows you to have two cross sections in amongst the lace. So you get the breathability, but what doesn't happen is you don't get that like scrunching effect all over the top of the unit. So that's the other thing that I really, really like about this particular base design and why 
I, I think it's probably my favorite. Um, it's my go-to, you know, ideally, like if I didn't have to worry uh, ever about money, if I didn't ever have to worry about like my units lasting, I'd probably go with like a 0 0.02 millimeter mixed with this right here because of the fact that it's so thin, the hairline looks so good and you get that breathability and just, I think it's pretty much unbeatable. So we have that, this is an ash shaving color. And the density of this unit is actually, uh, I believe it's a 95%. Now the thinnest unit that I've worn since like my very first, which I don't even know what the density was. I think it was probably like 85-ish, um, but it was a different company as well. So the standard was different. Uh, but the last unit that I wore that was this thin was the Eros model from Levivid. And I wore that probably from December of last year into about, mid-February and I think it was actually a little less dense than this unit if I recall that's 90% so I think this is a little bit more density it looks to me like there's a lot more hair on it than when I had that Eros unit so I'm excited about this I think this is a little bit more comparable to what I actually currently have right now which this unit has been fantastic um, I love that I love the hair density one. I love the wave pattern that this had because it's a little bit more wavy than your typical stock 28 millimeter rod, which for those out there who don't know, your rod size for your hair system is actually what dictates the waviness or how curly it is or how straight it is. The higher the number, the straighter it is. Think about a rod, almost like this right here. So this is a pen, right? And the size of the rod is the number, right? So 28 might look like this right here. 40 might look like that or something, for example, right? So the the way it's processed is that it's wrapped around these rods and then it kind of melds itself to the uh, rod diameter, if you will. So this right here uh, is actually not a 28 millimeter. I decided to go with a 25 millimeter curl. So this is actually probably gonna be a little bit more like this unit right here, it's gonna have a little bit more curliness to it, which it definitely has. Like if you look at this right here, you can see it has a little bit more of a swoosh motion to it. It's it's beyond a body wave. So this I'm really excited about as well because I actually really like having some light curl in my hair. I th it actually kind of matches like my natural hair a little bit better. If you guys have seen some videos in the past when I don't really like, style my hair perfectly, you'll see that I have a lot of flicks and a lot of natural kind of wave and curl and cowlicks in my hair. So this actually mimics my hair way better than the standard 20 millimeter curve. So it's great if you have curlier hair, if you have straighter hair, stick to a diameter that is a little bit closer to your own. However, if you do um, decide to have your side short like this, you can get away with a curlier unit. You can get away with some change like that. So definitely try it out. All right, so the front contour of this right here is a CC. So this right here is a more young and natural hairline that's found in most stock units. Personally, I like it for myself. Some people say it's a little too young. I don't think so for me at this age, at 28. In a couple of years, I might decide to change it up. Um, the size of this base is completely custom. The cut of it is completely custom. And that's one of the beautiful things about getting a custom unit is you don't really have to worry about any of this stuff right here. When you get it, you can just put it on and go. Now with the custom unit as well, you can get different length hair. I decided to get it in six inch because I'm probably not gonna go any longer than six inches. I'm probably gonna stick with something like that I have right now, which is really only a couple inches long. Maybe it's like four inches. I don't know how long exactly it is. I can measure it, but this is obviously more than enough hair to supply me with this look right here. I just know. Now, one of the things I do regret, and that's just because I didn't know enough at the time about this, but this is actually a uh, Indian Remy hair once again. So this right here is not really ideal for me. I need to get European hair if I really, really want to take it to the next level, which my next custom units are going to have European hair. So stick around so we can see what that looks like. So overall, this right here is very, very much like the uh, Eros model that I tried from Levivid a little bit earlier. However, it's got a different base type to it. Um, and the hair density is a little bit thicker on this right here. The body wave, the rod size for this right here has got a little bit more of a curl to it. It's 25 instead of 28 millimeter. And the, the front hairline, if I say so myself, is really, really good. Now, if, 
if we look like this right here, there's none of that like dotted spottiness that you get sometimes in a poly unit. Um, the hairline is just so nice. Like it just matches so stinking well with the actual uh, hair blending into the base. If I recall, I actually had them bleach the the bottom of the hair so that way it better matched the skin you know because uh when you get those bleach knots they don't appear however th there's no knots inside of a poly system so i believe i had them uh, bleach the ends of the system which um, i'm really excited to try and give a little bit of feedback on it and see what you guys think. But hey guys, you know, that's just a review of what I'm gonna be trying in a little bit. I'm probably gonna hold off on that one because it's gonna be a perfect unit for summer. Um, you know, it's winter here still right now, so it's a little bit colder, so I can get away with a poly thin skin, but when it gets up to 80, 90 degrees, it's when I really probably need a little bit more ventilation for a system. But I wanna show you if you're interested in checking out, you know, getting a custom unit from Levivid. So here's all you really have to do. It's pretty simple, okay? So you go to lividhair.com, you're gonna go over to custom to pay, click on that, and then you go to customize now, okay? And then a box comes up and it really gives you all of these options right here. There's so many options from for you to choose from and it, it's pretty easy. If you don't know what each of these is because it's text, go and review or you can actually send them a message in their chat over here or send an email directly to their customer service and they'll help they'll help you out but what you would do is you know french lace with two skin two inch skin in the back and quarter inch on the side so that means that there wouldn't be any in the front or front french lace with skin around perimeter so we'll do that base size you select your base size or you can send them a template right or an old hair system if you want it done like i had you select the color, so I would select Ash 7. You want any gray in the hair? No, I don't. You select the type of hair that you have, so for me, I should select European in the future. You select the density right here. Uh, you select the wave. You select the length of the hair. Don't select any more than you need because it actually makes it probably faster of an order. Um, and then you select the hair direction. Freestyle is good for a lot of people. Some actually like having a crown and then ask if you want bleached knots. You know, in this time guys, sometimes custom units take a little bit longer than we're used to because of production issues related to COVID-19. So if you don't need something, if you don't explicitly want something, don't just get it to get it because it'll take more time to process it and to make the order, right? And then they get you a fully custom quote within 24 hours. It's as simple as that no big deal and you're off to the races hope you guys enjoyed this video pretty excited to see what this unit actually looks like when i get it on and if you have any questions please leave comments below if you have some feedback on what type of content you'd like to see here in the future whether that is health and wellness working out um, fitness whether it is interpersonal relationships psychology all this kind of stuff please, please, please leave a comment down below. If you'd like to do an interview, leave a comment down below and I will reach out to you. Thank you guys for watching so much. Thank you, Levivit, for sponsoring this video and we will see you all soon.